After coming oh so close last year, the Bemidji wrestling team won the section championship and is going down to the state tournament tomorrow. It's a chance for Bemidji to prove themselves on the big stage and of course get to spend some more time wrestling. Very excited. I can't wait for it. You know, just another, another day of wrestling makes me happy. And Bemidji is happy to be wrestling tomorrow at the state tournament for the first time since 2011. They got there by avenging last year's loss to Wilmer in the section final. Just kind of swinging back and forth, especially when we lose a few matches. I thought, oh man, it's going to be like last year, but we pulled through. I know our coach said he, uh, he felt we had the best team going into the going into the tournament, and uh, I'm glad he was right. Due to some injuries and a tough schedule, the Lumberjacks lost five of their first six dual meets, but the team had the character and motivation to bounce back to where they are today. We all worked hard, and we, we pushed through the, the low spots of the season, and uh, very happy we were able to come through in the end. They have a lot of heart, a lot of discipline, effort, commitment, dedication, all those things that you'd want to, uh, to d describe your own children. Um, they're, they're just wonderful young men to be around, and uh, they give everything they have every time they go out. The Jacks head to St. Paul with big expectations, and they're most looking forward to getting to spend some more quality time with the team. Yeah, just to be closer to the guys and, you know, become closer as a team. and really make what we have special. I'm very excited, you know, they're, they're like family to me, so couldn't be any more happier. The Jacks are seeded fourth. They get Forest Lake in the first round, who they actually beat just uh, earlier this month. All right, so good luck to them, and they're not the only ones from our area, right, in the, in the tournament? Yeah, and Double A, Long Prairie, Gray Eagle, they're the top-ranked team. Also, Aiken and Burndale, Bertha Hewitt, Parker's Prairie, so uh, a stacked field for the Lakeland Viewing Area. Okay, and that's tomorrow? They that's tomorrow. Okay. And we'll have highlights for you. Beautiful. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.